Camp out one year. Right, yeah. It's the way to go, man. Yeah, Already we'll out do. There. Yeah, because I'm um, like... Food out there. Like, yeah, this, you know, this year, like, I, I just kind of got an invitation from my buddy and... I said, well, I've never even heard about this thing. Yeah. I grew up in, I grew up in Jefferson Park, you know, and yeah. I'm like, man, I never really yeah. knew about this um, ride until, uh, so, so I said, a, so I said, you know May, what? Maywood, right? Maywood Fine Arts. So is that like Maywood, uh, the suburb, right? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, okay. Like uh, Western, so I don't know exactly where it is. Western right, because yeah, I grew up on the northwest side, so like, yeah. like I never really knew it existed, but you know what? I'm like, I checked on YouTube and there's like, no no footage no content about oh, this I can't ride believe it. Shit. All right. there's only one fella who threw in something like yeah. 2014 like a six minute time lapse of the ride yeah yeah and so i watched that and i'm like wow that's interesting yeah. and hey i'll get some content for my channel good idea and uh and yeah man, definitely definitely a couple of ladies that we met earlier at the <laughs> hall of fame of mascot they're like oh. where are you guys staying and the i hall said well what the hilton We'll say like, well, we'll, we'll grill in. Why don't you guys come down to our campsite? Campsite. I'm like, all right. They got Indian. <laughs> change, and, change plans. Uh, three, four, all right, one, two, and three. The group campsites. Yeah, and I told my buddy like, Something hey, get your money here. back from the Hilton, man. We're gonna get a, a fucking long ride. We're gonna warmer. Back. We're gonna get a warmer <laughs> place to stay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Make the bar stops too, man. They're unofficial, but they're fun to meet people. Yeah, 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 certainly. So there's one up here called the Village Inn. You'll see it at the end of the track here. Okay. So then like, with this stop, how much longer do we have to go? Uh, depending on where you're going, but you're going to Chesterton. There's one more bar stop in Chesterton called Flannery's. Right. If you want to see a fucking, that should be a whole nother YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, <laughs> I don't know my way, but my buddy behind me, he's he's probably like half mile behind us. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait up for him. Yeah. He, he said he place. know yeah, he knew this place. Yeah. Because he's like, yeah, there's a few places, you know. You'll see a bunch of bikes parked in front. Village Inn. Village Inn. In Porter. Are you stopping or? Yeah, I'm stopping. There. All right, cool. We can ride or are you hammering it right now? No. Yeah. I'm all right. Maybe I'll be on your channel. Um two months uh, three months ago, March. I did the Jacksonville to Charleston ride, oh, no shit. 400 miles, seven days. Ooh, good for you. Um, and then last year I did the Phoenix, did. the Phoenix Challenge for Fourth of July. You do the Beltway of Phoenix, 280 miles all around, in the scorching. <laughs> yeah, in the scorcher, man. Like it hit like 114, 115. Ooh, man, no way. But see, in 2014 I did the Moroccan Challenge, which is the famous triangle. Where you go shit. to Rabat, Marrakesh, and then Fez on the oh, coast. Shit. So it's the famous like Moroccan Triangle for cyclists. Um, and Man. like, dude, it hit like 122, 124 in the Western, because it's the Western Sahara, you know? Hardcore. Like, good, like it took us like 11 days. We we budget we budgeted like seven, eight days. It took us 11 days, bro. 11. Yeah. That's a hard ride. And and it's you know mainly very undeveloped, like. Yeah. Like if you go to you know around Phoenix, there's bound to be a gas station every 15-20 yeah. minutes. Uh, what but, about here? In, uh, do you ever do the rag ride, the Iowa one? No. Ride right across Iowa? No, but I. That's I'm open. Up in July. I'm all. I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions because somebody told me about the apple cider. Apple cider ride. 100. That's a good one up here. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. Tomorrow we're gonna go through. Uh, Three Oaks, Michigan, and that's where the apple cider starts off. Yeah. Uh, but that's a good one, too. Journeyman Distillery is a really good spot right. on the second day. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm the ambassador. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to meet someone who's kind of a veteran of this race oh, yeah, I've done a lot. or of this ride. Nice. Yeah. Um, Good to know, man, and I'll be back. There used to be a couple bars in the day, one called Monty's and then Tradition. Um, but they, you know, it's telling those bars are, you know, they're open at 10 o'clock on Friday. <laughs> and there's a couple dudes in there like, what are you doing here? I'm like, wait a second, what are you doing here? <laughs> You're like three beers in and two cigarettes. <laughs> on Friday morning. Yeah. <laughs>
judge, but you know, if you gotta run your business on guys like that, it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, certainly um so yeah where's this oh uh, this far this village in no not much farther i think we're almost at the end of this i, I never never remember what the mile markers are but yeah uh, yeah the guy steve he's been, I, this is the 20th year i think i've been on it 17 or 18 i can't remember yeah yeah, this route, route changes a little bit every year. He gets a little smarter. He's got a lot more people to accommodate, you know. Right. Oh, um, man, I, I heard from a few of the other writers that he might show up and join us at the end, right? That? Steve, uh, he, he's like coming at the end to join us. Oh, yeah, for sure. At the finish uh, line and he'll stuff. He'll be at the, the village inn, man. What's your name? Eric. Eric Adams. Eric, but I, my channel is Jungle Harry. Yeah, yeah, I don't do much online stuff at all. So. Because, you know, I, like I meet people in person. Well, I lived, I lived in the northern Peruvian Amazon jungle for five years. Oh, no shit. I've, uh, I've been like an ayahuasca retreat center there. Oh! And I do, you like... Bring any? What's Wait, up? Are you smoking weed today? No, drinking no, no, beer? no. Drinking beer a little bit. Right, but, um, so like, you know, when I went out there, I'm like trying to tell everybody, like, my name's Eric, but, you know, the... South Americans with their accent, when they pronounce my name, it kind of sounded like Hetty, Hetty. So it like, like it kind of sounded like Harry. So then I needed, I needed like a nickname, cause, ah. cause every other like foreigner down there, like Bushmaster Bill, you know, they, everybody's yeah, yeah. got a nickname. Um, Mad Mick and everybody. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? That that Eddie Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie sounds like Harry. So then I'm like, okay, Jungle Harry has a ring to it. So like five years ago, I became Jungle Harry. Um, and during the four and a half years I lived there, um, I started a channel there, which is called Friends of the Amazon Jungle. Oh, shit. So if you check out that channel, you'll see about 500 movies about how how it is to live in the Amazon, you know? All right, so tell me how you got into this, man. You're like, I can make money doing it and just travel. Uh, 2002 was the first time Damn. I went to You're back in the day. Yeah, I went to Peru because my cousin was a self-employed agent importing exotic birds right into the US. And a random start, yeah. <laughs> and so then like he got big because he got a contract from Petco. Oh. So then he opened up a, a like a warehouse down in Itasca, Illinois. Um and you're like, fuck it, I'll go on. And you know what? Like, every time he would go down there, he'd go for like six months to find trappers and and like growers, you know, like people that could raise uh, the birds. Interesting, yeah. And so I would go down there with him, like for for a week or two, help him, you know, help him carry luggage. And that paid? You got money for that? Yeah. yeah and then my sure. cousin, my cousin, like after like 12 years in the business, you know, the the business got really bad because, you know, just like. A lot of government controls on, you know, on the uh, SPCA and all the like animal organizations yeah. come come down on you. So, him being a little guy, he's like, you know what, tourism would be a a better business. 